Hello everybody, Derek here from Addictive Tips, and in this video we're going to be going over how to install the Terminus app. So Terminus is a terminal, and uh, it's based off of web technologies, it's highly customizable, and it's got a bunch of different extensions. So if you are looking for a modern style terminal, maybe it looks a little nicer than something like the traditional GNOME terminal, it's definitely worth a check, worth a look. So to get it, you can get it on Mac OS, Windows, or Linux. Obviously we're doing this on Linux. Uh, so you click on the Linux button, go to this URL here, and it'll also be in the description in the article, uh, along with the instructions for a lot of different distributions. But anyway, click the download button. And uh, at this point we need to look at the release page. So I am using Fedora 28. So I need to get this RPM, but if you use Ubuntu or Debian, you would install the deb here. And of course, if you want to get the release for pretty much every other distribution, get the alpha tard.gz. Do not download the source code because you'll actually have to compile it if you get this. It's an executable file and we go over how to make a shortcut and how to install it to your PC just like any other program. Anyways, go to download this RPM here. And I'm going to let it download. And it's a 64 gigabyte file. <laughs> that would be crazy if it was. It's a 64 megabyte file. So it shouldn't take too long. It's going to be downloaded soon. And then from here, I can install it with my terminal. You can also install it with GNOME software or whatever you use to install packages. But I'm just going to CD into the downloads and uh, wait for Terminus to finish downloading. Now that it's downloaded, I can just install it. So sudo dnf install Terminus. And uh, the installation is going to get a couple of dependencies, not too much, and uh, should be ready to go. Let's see what it looks like. So here we are with Terminus. So if you look through the settings, it's got quite a lot of stuff. You got plugins, the community color schemes, and just a bunch of different things. And uh, I don't actually want to use the plugins right now because it's not what we're talking about. But if you did, you just click the get npm button, it would open up the browser and uh, such. Anyway, to use the actual terminal, you just click a new tab and uh, write some commands. So I have a script. And uh, this is just my update script for Fedora. So if I want to run the script, it would work just like any other program in any other terminal. I just run update, enter my password, and uh, you know, much like every other terminal, it runs and executes binaries and does commands just like it's supposed to. And that's pretty much how Terminus works. If you're interested in getting Terminus, please check the description below and learn how to install it. Anyways, guys, I've got to get going, but I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, and I will see you in the next one.